Yes, 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 yes. You may think that I'm a giraffe, yes, but, but I'm not. I'm a camel. We camels first appeared in North America, one of the, the first continents to have great expanses of grass. And we were one of the early animals adapted to eating and grazing on grass. There were many types of camels, some, some small, some much larger than modern camels, and, and myself with this giraffe-like neck. There were some camels which would end up in South America and be the ancestors of the llamas there. And so camels were originally a diverse North American group of the Cenozoic, which spread throughout the world. Hello, darlings. Most giraffes did not have the long necks found in the giraffes alive today. Most were much more like the Okapi, a small, rare giraffe that's still alive today. Some of us were elephant-sized in the Cenozoic era, and some even had antlers the size of moose antlers today. So the giraffids were once much more diverse than their modern forms, darling. There haven't always been deer. Deer evolved in the Cenozoic. There were none prior to that. And the earliest deer were small, without antlers, and possessing large canines, very much like a small deer still alive in Vietnam today. There were a variety of deer throughout the Cenozoic era, including the Irish elk, whose antlers each one could measure two meters, and the brush antler deer and many others. So the deer have been quite diverse throughout the Cenozoic era. There were no whales prior to the Cenozoic era. There were large marine reptiles which inhabited the oceans instead. The first members of our group lived on land, walking on four functioning limbs. Only gradually did they modify their limbs for aquatic life, eventually becoming flippers and ultimately losing their hind limbs altogether. But there were many whales which continued to possess all four flippers, and even the 60-foot-long basilosaurids where the tiny vestigial hind limb would have been useless for swimming.